Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of um, the Mac OS X <coughs> dual booting for Windows 7. Alright, so currently we're still on Windows 7 because I forgot one thing in the last part. Alright, so once you download iBoot, drag the iBoot.iso file out from the zip file and you can see iBoot.iso here. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click on iBoot.iso iBoot.iso, yeah correct, and then set in a blank disk. Uh, the disk can, ha can be 700 MB, this doesn't have to be a DVD. Then next, select your uh, disk burner, I have this DVD burner and R drive over here, and click verify disk after burning, and click burn. <coughs> Alright, so I've done it really, I'm not going to do it. So, do this, just burn the di uh, burn iBoot into a disk, and the rest of the files that I told you to download in the previous tutorial, you want to copy over to your USB. Alright, so back to the actual flow, the actual part 2 alright hey guys so yeah so taking your iBoot file what you want to do is you want to insert it uh, insert it into your DVD drive so my DVD drive is currently a bit screwed up because I inserted this wrongly alright so put in your iBoot disk uh, over here alright insert it in and then uh, you want to repeatedly tap, uh, press the key that will bring up your BIOS menu. So for for example, for my computer, my, the key that brings up my BIOS menu is delete. So for your computer, it might be F2, F10, or tap on the tap key. So for me, my uh, key is delete. So just repeatedly spam that key while your computer is starting up. Uh, yeah, delete key. So just repeatedly spam that like crazy, and you'll be brought to the BIOS menu. Alright, so once in the BIOS, you can go to power management, and in power management, change this to S3 STR. Then change your HP ET mode to 64 bit and exit. Next, go to integrated peripherals and change your SATA mode to ACHI. Do not make it at IDA. Alright, so AHCI, sorry. Alright, uh, finally go to. Wait, that's all? Oh, yeah, it is all. Alright, so press F10 and type in Y and click enter. Alright, so then your computer will reboot again and I'll wait for it to start up. La 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 Alright, so once you're back there, you'll be brought to iBoot. Uh, so, uh, once your computer is rebooted, you'll be taken to iBoot. So take out iBoot from your CD-ROM, or CD drive. Alright, take it out. And put in your Snow Leopard Retail DVD in. Alright, then press the F5 key. I'm not sure you can see it, F5, yeah, so press the F5 key to refresh it, and it's okay if you see the uh, an error coming up the side, that, that's really fine, just leave it alone, and then you should see Mac OS X install DVD come up, press enter to enter into Mac OS X DVD install, wait a while, and there you see the uh, white Apple logo come up. Alright, uh, if you went, once you see the loading, that's really good. Alright, now this is the thing. If you see um, on the stock of the Apple a box with a cross on it, uh, you know, a box, you know, that kind of that say like no smoking, that's bad, which means you uh, did something wrong in your BIOS. Alright, so once it's finished loading, you'll be brought to the uh, language section. I'm mean, just going to choose English. Duh. Alright, so then you'll be at this screen. Now, what you want to do once you're at this screen is wait for it to load then go to the top of the screen and click utilities and click disk utility alright wait for it to load and wait for this utility to come up alright so gathering this information and done alright now remember early on we created two partitions the Mac OS X one so right go to your Mac OS X partition or the, or the partition that you created early on and change it to Mac OS X standard general make sure it's the correct size as you created earlier on and click erase Okay, just click erase and then it'll start to unmount the disk and format the drive. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to watch part 1 of my video and in the last part of the video, uh, video I teach you guys how to partition your drive so that there are three drives. Alright, so erase the volume and mount the drive. Back up. Alright, so now you're done. Mac OS X is there and all ready to go and so exit out of disk utility. Alright, I missed the button there. Alright, so exit off this utility and uh, press continue. Alright, so just unless you want to read the terms and conditions, just click agree and select the disk which is Mac OS X. Alright, now you can go to customize and change some of the options there. I'm going to add in Rosetta. 
alright just for the sake of adding that in and then click install alright so now it's going to start installing Mac OS X on the disk and yeah I'll be back after this finishes installing goodbye Alright, basically what happened during this part was that my, com my camera screwed up so I didn't get footage of this. Basically what happened after this during this part was that my computer restarted after it finished installing Mac OS X. So after your computer restarts, you know there will be a button there for you to click restart, click restart, and then take out your Mac OS X snow leopard disk and immediately insert your iBoot disk quickly. If not, there will be some error. So do that right now. Alright, so once it's finished installing, take out your Mac uh, OS X snow leopard disk from the drive or reboot and put in your iBoot disk back. Next you'll see Mac OS X there, go over to it and yeah, use the arrow keys and press enter. Alright, so wait for it. And once the loading thing comes up, you are good. That means nothing happened during the installation and everything went well. Excellent. Alright, so uh, once you do that, once you click install and everything loads up, you'll be treated to a welcome uh, screen with all with welcome flashing at you in different languages, which is really quite cool. But I didn't catch the footage, so sorry. Bruno VD, uh, Huan Ing. Oh, I can actually read that one. That's Chinese. So yeah, I can read the rest of it though. Wow, how do you even read that one? Oh yeah, OXX. Okay. Um, you know the languages are really cool. Anyway, so yeah, OXX installed and you'll be brought to the first welcome screen. Alright, so I'm going to do show all and I'm going to click Singapore, yay, go Singapore. Alright, so click continue, uh, go US, keyboard, uh, do not transfer, no, I have no Apple ID, I'm going to create one anyway. Uh, registration info, I'm going to put in my first name and my last name, click continue, click continue, uh, change my account name, and type in my password, and verify it, and I'm not going to put in a password hidden. Yep, I'm going to do that. Not going to do that. Alright, so creating your account, connecting to Apple, and talking to Apple in 3, 2, oh, there we go, talking to Apple. I missed the account. Not. Anyway, so Singapore, Singapore, click OK, and welcome to your first desktop in turn 987654321. Aha, on top. Alright, thanks for watching part 2, guys. This was the original install. Hope nothing happened, and go to part 3.